Thank you everybody for giving me a few moments to uh, share some pictures with you. Um, uh, as you uh, know by now, there uh, is quite a bit of funding that was um, sent to the shelter uh, because they were in crisis because of COVID, their, their normal fund, funding stream was delayed. Um, and also uh, there were donations to uh, me personally so that uh, uh, crafts were purchased and um, um, they were received uh, last week. Uh, next slide, please, Catherine. This is the picture of the back of the shelter. And you can see a uh, typical bedroom has two beds in it and uh, a window and a wardrobe there. And uh, on the picture on the right shows uh, the great room uh, so that it's, it's large enough that it can fit uh, all nine girls there for meetings and, and staff and such. Next slide, please. This shows um, the girls outside uh, one day in the wintertime. And if you would note, uh, as we were overlooking the uh, commune because the house sits on the hill, two of the girls actually didn't even have shoes. Uh, the girl standing up has her bedroom slippers on as well as the girl on the far left. Um, so I thought that was sad because these, these girls are picked up and um, they, don't, they, they don't have anything except for the clothes on their backs. Um, the shelter has a, a plethora of animals and you can see the dog in the middle, uh, both dogs actually are guard dogs, and the dog in the middle was actually stabbed in the throat uh, by one of the bad guys. Uh, luckily he recovered from that. Uh, the dog on the right um, is like some kind of uh, Doberman, reminds me of the Doberman mix. Both of them are very friendly um, uh, to us, um, you know, in the shelter, uh, not so friendly with the strangers. And then there are two cats. One of the cats were, uh, was adopted by one of the social workers. Next slide, please. This is their uh, kitchen. And you can see that uh, all the windows are barred. That's to keep the bad guys out. Uh, their, their stove is, I hesitate to call it a working stove. Two out of the four burners work. And as you can see, we have a makeshift way to keep the gas lit for the oven to be on. Um, so it's kind of scary for me um, to be able to, to, to use it like that, but you work with what you have. And you can see we made a cake uh, a couple weeks ago for one of the girls who turned 15. And by the way, this girl that just turned 15 is now seven months pregnant. Um, so it's babies having babies there. Next slide, please. <clears throat> this girl, um, she has scars up and down her arms um, from trying to take her life and, and a lot of cutting. And she has uh, had quite a bit of uh, episodes um, since she's come to the shelter several months ago. And one of our crafts uh, used uh, silver and gold glitter glue. And she asked if we could decorate her arms for her. And since the scars are healed over, they're not open wounds, um, we obliged and um, decorated her arms and we did her hair. And it was the first time that I actually saw her smile in, in several uh, weeks. So it was really good to see her smile for once. Next slide, please. As part of the, my curriculum, I guess, um, I uh, have uh, scriptural based activities for them. And so we usually have a Bible story that is followed by some kind of activity um, that emphasizes that. So if it's a word search or Bible bingo, um, some coloring, we did the Trinity for a uh, uh, St. Patrick's Day theme. Um, we make God's eyes, uh, we do some painting, and we've done um, some tie-dyed t-shirts uh, except with markers. Next slide, please. So this shows the box of things that uh, I received. Uh, we actually got two boxes. Um, so that you can see on there that um, we have some teapots that we're gonna paint and, and we'll grow some basil seeds uh, for them. There are some beaded bracelets with uh, religious icons on there. There's mosaic butterflies. Um, we have some 
um, bags that we're going to decorate, some eggs we're going to paint, um, some more sticks to make um, crosses. And uh, the most exciting thing is a thing right there in the middle. It's women of the Bible. So it goes through seven uh, women of the Bible and I finished translating them. So the first woman we're going to learn about this upcoming week is Deborah, followed by my favorite Ruth the following week. Next slide, please. So thank you uh, very much from the bottom of my heart. And um, even though the girls don't realize uh, where these donations um, come from and, and you know how that, that's funded and, and all of those things. Uh, they are most appreciative of the work that we're doing and the activities um, they have and being able to preach the word of God to them since they, they don't go to church, they, they don't know what that is, um, is very exciting for me. I would love to hear from you. So there uh, is listed my website and um, Instagram um, handle. Um, and I'd be happy to entertain questions during the fellowship time. Thank you. Thank you very much, Ruth. Uh, it, it means a lot to be able to really see what goes on and the mission and ministry that we've been supporting and um, you know to have such a close relationship to be praying with you but then also to be able to uh, financially support you um, is just really a wonderful relationship and we look forward to to hearing more